So there has been a new Arida update and I'm gonna cover everything in it in this video. So starting off we have a new sniper rifle. Now the sniper rifle is obtainable the same way as RPGs by finding parts for it in the AG and other parts of the map and then crafting it. It requires you 3 high tier gun parts and a toolbox to craft it. Um, the way to craft ammo for it is actually like AMR, it's the same, but it requires one more metal bar, so it is a bit more expensive. Keep that in mind. So, these are the bullets you get. It's similar to the Polaris Brenter, which I think is a pretty cool concept. I'm not gonna lie. It does 120 damage. This is specifically made to raid lockers early game. So keep that in mind. As you can see, it's gonna take you two and a half to break a locker. A normal one, adamantium would be like five or something. Um, and yeah, that's about the new sniper rifle. Now, there has been some other stuff added like the AR frag mag and the MKP frag mag. Which, there is one thing on the MKP Fragmag that I think is gonna get hotfixed pretty soon. So first off, there is almost no recoil with this gun from close range, but it's anyways MKP so who cares. But this is the thing that I think is gonna get hotfixed really really quick, and it is the frag box being able to be refueled with intermediate, which basically means you can raid any base with intermediate, which is gonna get fixed pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. So the next thing we have to talk about is the checklist, this thing, um, it tracks your items uh, for Nomad 1 and Nomad 2, so now you don't really have to screenshot and do the old, you know, all the stuff in order to keep in track how much items you have, it's pretty easy now, which is really a really cool concept I believe. Um, the next thing is... The Razvets have more increased recoil than they usually do. As you can see, I don't think it's uh, really a big change. Um, the Razvets did need the nerf a bit, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I believe the durability is going down a bit faster as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. The next thing is the Digo. it has I believe two more damage to it, I don't quite remember how much it was before, but it is 50 now. But I don't think anyone is gonna be really using the Digo anyways, because it's just not that good of a weapon. The next thing is just the Sabot, which I said in the last patch notes, the durability of it was increased by three times, but it just wasn't noted down in the update notes. Now we have the Firewater, which is now mythical, and you can sell it at the NPC, which is Dawn, and it gives you like 8,000 uh, experience, which um, I don't think anybody's gonna do. So the next thing is um, increased drop chance of glass, which I don't really see. Um, so when you break something, it should give you more glass, theoretically. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't give me now. Maybe I'm just stupid and I forgot how to play at it. Oh yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't know what this change does. It says it, it gives you more, but I don't think it does. Next thing is this contract, I believe has been increased. Um, I'm not sure how much it was before to get these adamantium ingots, but I know that it is increased, I believe. So we are here at the NPC, which is red. And this is the next change. <laughs> now, I think uh, Renax misrode, uh, mistyped the idea of the item, but I believe it should be this. Um, it should give you a stack of grenades, or a full grenade box, which is like uh, six of them. Five, sorry. So, it should be eight bolts for a stack of nails, I believe. Now, we have here the next thing, which is the Horde Beacons. They give you two more items for Horde Beacons, so the Distress Beacon has 12 items, now it gives you 14, and the 
big one, which is the beacon of the horde, gives you 16 instead of 14. So it was 14 before, now it's gonna give you 16 per uh, player, I believe. So if you're doing it with more people, you're going to get way more. Keep that in mind. So both of the Draconos have been um, buffed a bit. Now this Dracono is still not that good. As you can see, it breaks pretty quick. And it is somewhat over eco, as you can see. The durability is like pretty bad, but this one, this Draconov right here, the upgraded one, which you get um, by upgrading the normal one right here, this one is pretty good, I believe. It has almost no recoil right now, and I'm not gonna lie, it breaks pretty slow. As you can see, the durability goes pretty, pretty slow. Overall, a pretty, pretty good gun. I believe this is gonna be the new metal, maybe. Uh, because it's pretty easy to get Draconov, upgrading it is not that hard and then the ammo for it is just hyper velocity, so, you know. Well, Adamantium safe for a red circuit board and 3 board broken radius, now. The sad part about this is that we don't have the signal receiver anymore, um, it's gone. It, it just didn't use to work properly, um, I don't think anyone even used it that much, but yeah. The signal receiver is gone, which is pretty pretty sad. We have the last change, which is right here, and it is the adamantium being buffed by two times. Now, this is something that Renaxum calls an event, so we might see more events in the future. Now, this is only temporarily, for like a week, maybe two weeks, we don't know yet. This is something new to add it, so maybe Renaxum is gonna, you know, um, add a event where you would be getting 20 metal bars instead of 10 for the metal, we don't know yet, um, it's just something new, and I think it's a pretty cool concept, it can be, you know, um, it, I can see it in the future, like, working out pretty good, maybe, um, I don't know yet, I, I hope it will be good, so, yeah. I'm gonna leave the patch notes on your screen right now, so you can see for yourself, and I'm gonna link them in the comments down below, so you, you can read them for yourself, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.